And it's always our choice. It's always our choice whether we want to be offended or not. A little sip of coffee just to get going. Love is love. Love is love. Adi- no. What's up, everyone? How are you doing today? I <clears throat> um, hope you're having a great week. Uh, man, I just had a good situation I wanted to talk about. So I was on a walk with my dog. I have a pit bull, a uh, very, you know, pit bull looking pit bull. And I was walking through the neighborhood and this lady came up with her child. They were riding their bikes. To, he was riding his bike to school. And, you know, we said hello. We had a very friendly conversation. Now, my kids were about 200 feet behind her. So I went on a walk for my dog and set my kids out to school. They meet up with some friends and whatnot. Um, so, you know, uh, I say hello to the lady and then she walks off. So she walks, you know, 150 feet or whatever. And then my kids come up and I am getting control of my dog and putting him doing, you know, training him, doing things that I, I'm making him listen to me, even though, um, uh, my kids are approaching, which is a hard situation because he sees them, loves them, knows them, wants to like play. And they start to try to engage with him. And this lady turns around, doesn't know any of us and says, Hey, come on boys, let's go to school. Now I have two ways that I can look at this situation. I can be very offended at, Hey, fuck off. These are my kids. Don't you worry. You know, and we live in the day and age of being offended. Or I can be really, really happy that I live in a neighborhood where someone is looking out for the well-being of my child. Because from her perspective, all she knows is that there's some stranger, I'm in a hoodie, right? You know, I, I, you know hoodie, sweatpants, pit bull that she's never seen before walking through the neighborhood and now dealing with these kids and you know i'm you know giving my dog commands in stern tones and and all of this stuff um i told i told my kid not to touch the dog because he was trying to touch the dog and i wanted to train the dog and she's hearing all of this she could have walked off right she could have walked off and who knows what would happen or she just turned around and very politely said hey boys let's go to school Man, how blessed am I? How blessed am I that I live in a neighborhood where somebody cares about my kids? What more could I ask for with neighbors that don't even know me? Or I could be very offended. How dare you think that I would do something to these children? It's my choice. It's my choice of whether I'm going to be very happy about the situation or I'm going to take it in this very offensive way. And it's always our choice. It's always our choice whether we want to be offended or not. It's never what the other person did. It's not, it's never that scenario. It belongs to you. Your offense belongs to you. It has nothing to do with the other person's actions. Choose wisely, my friends. Find your power.